Kicking off the second day of hearings on the nomination of Ketanji Brown-Jackson to the Supreme Court, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Dick Durbin gave the judge free reign to respond to attacks from Senator Josh Hawley that she is soft on child pornographers and pedophiles. Take a look at her response. Uh, and it's the issue involving child pornography. I want to turn to that issue because it was raised multiple times, primarily by the senator from Missouri. And it was, he was questioning your sentencing record in child pornography cases uh, that do not involve the production of pornographic material. They're known as non-production cases. I wanted to put some context here. The senator from Missouri has in his tweets said of your position on this issue, Judge Jackson has a pattern of letting child porn offenders off the hook for their appalling crimes, both as a judge and a policymaker. She's been advocating it since law school. This goes beyond soft on crime, the senator said. I'm concerned this is a record that endangers our children. I thought about his charges as I watched you and your family listening carefully yesterday and what impact it might have had on you personally to know that your daughters, husband, parents, family, and friends were hearing the charges that you're implementation of this law, sentencing, endangered children. Could you tell us what was going through your mind at that point? Thank you, Senator. Um, as a mother and a judge who has had to deal with these cases, I was thinking that nothing could be further from the truth. These are some of the most difficult cases that a judge has to deal with because we're talking about pictures of sex abuse of children. We're talking about graphic descriptions that judges have to read and consider when they decide how to sentence in these cases. And there's a statute that tells judges what they're supposed to do. Congress has decided what it is that a judge has to do in this and any other case when they sentence. And that statute, that statute doesn't say look only at the guidelines and stop. The statute doesn't say um, impose the, the highest possible penalty for this sickening and egregious crime. The, the statute says it, calculate the guidelines, but also look at various aspects of this offense and impose a sentence that is, quote, sufficient but not greater than necessary to promote the purposes of punishment. And in every case, when I am dealing with something like this, it is important to me to make sure that the children's perspective, the children's voices are represented in my sentencing. And what that means is that for every defendant who comes before me and who suggests, as they often do, that they're just a looker, that these crimes don't really matter, they've collected these things on the internet and it's fine, I tell them about the victim statements that have come in to me as a judge. I tell them about the adults who were former child sex abuse victims who tell me that they will never have a normal adult relationship because of this abuse. I tell them about the ones who say, I went into prostitution, I uh, fell into drugs because I was trying to suppress the hurt that was done to me as an, as an infant. And the one that was the most um, telling to me that I describe at almost every one of these sentencings when I look in the eyes of a defendant who is weeping because I'm giving him a significant sentence. What I say to him is, do you know that there is someone who has written to me and who has told me that she has developed agoraphobia? She cannot leave her house because she thinks that everyone she meets will have seen her, will have seen her pictures on the internet. They're out there forever. At 
the most vulnerable time of her life. And so she's paralyzed. I tell that story to every child porn defendant as a part of my sentencings so that they understand what they have done. I say to them that there's only a market for this kind of material because there are lookers, that you are contributing to child sex abuse. And then I impose a significant sentence and all of the additional restraints that are available in the law. These people are looking at 20, 30, 40 years of supervision. They can't use their computers in a normal way for decades. I am imposing all of those constraints because I understand how significant, how damaging, how horrible this crime is. Tuesday marks the first of two days of questioning. Senators will get 30 minutes each in order of seniority, and then they'll get a second round of questions for 20 minutes each on Wednesday. If the 22-member Judiciary Committee advances Jackson's nomination, she will be considered by a vote of the full 100-member Senate. If confirmed, she will replace Liberal Justice Stephen Breyer when he retires at the end of the court term in June. So the political balance of the court would remain largely the same, but it would be history-making because Ms. Jackson would be the first black woman in the court's 233-year existence. In her opening statement on Monday, the 51-year-old told the committee she would take her duty to be independent very seriously. Several Republicans have focused on how Ms. Jackson views and interprets the law. Some question if she is an activist judge, imposing her policy views or preference from the bench. The judge replied that she is acutely aware of the limits on her judicial authority and has a three-step mythology to keep herself in check. I am trying in every case to stay in my lane. Democrats argue Ms. Jackson's record is well established through over 500 legal opinions and because she has been confirmed in the Senate on three prior occasions. Senator Patrick Leahy drew attention to Jackson's previous endorsement by former House Speaker Paul Ryan, who said his praise for her intellect, character, and integrity is unequivocal. In response, Jackson affirmed her commitment to serving as an even-handed Supreme Court justice, a theme throughout her hearing thus far. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of The Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.